Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make royal icing transfers. You can make little pizzas, pineapples, basically the ideas are endless. The first thing we're going to do is to print out our templates and get them prepped so that we can pipe on top of our tracing paper. You can get these templates on the internet, you can search for royal icing transfer templates, you can make them yourself, or I have a small selection of them in my shop as well, which I've linked below. Prep them by adhering a parchment paper or sheet protector, as well as clear transparency paper to your template so that it lays flat and there's no movement as you're piping your design on it. I like to use washi paper to secure the edges so that it doesn't move, but then the washi paper also gets taken off super easily without any residue. And here I'm showing you how I prep the same thing using half a piece of clear transparency paper. You can read about the nuances between the different types of, quote, tracing paper in my blog post that I've linked in the description. You pipe designs onto these tracing papers the same way that you would pipe designs onto any other cookie. For me, I like to use a relatively thick consistency icing so that it can settle quickly and dry quickly. So this is about a 20 second icing that you see here. It requires a scribe to smooth out if I wanted to do that. The rinds or crusts are made with a slightly thicker consistency. And here is another 20 second consistency icing. And what we're gonna do is pipe these designs on and let them fully dry overnight so that they are easy to pop off as they dry. After they fully dried, we can pop these off of either your transparency paper or your parchment paper using a little tool. They should pop off really quite easily. You might need to nudge it a little bit, but please be gentle here. If you don't let these dry long enough, it's possible that when they pop off, there's still gonna be a bit of wet icing at the bottom. So kind of like the slice of pizza here, just go ahead and clean up the bit and you should be fine. I usually like to dry my icing transfers for about 24 hours uncovered so that they have a chance to dry all the way through as much as possible. If you wanna go ahead and start making other shapes like flowers, you wanna use a very thick consistency icing. So this is actually thicker than toothpaste consistency icing. And I'm using a 101S tip here so that they are super, super tiny leaves. I let it dry fully for 24 hours so that it is all the way dry all the way through. And I dry dust it with some elite color powder so that there is pink in the middle. And all you have to do is buff it in like you buff in makeup and add a little bit of accent to the flower. In order to use cute little icing transfers such as these, I like to show them off on cookie sticks. 
I flood in my cookie stick with about a 20 second icing. I add in any background colors that I want or designs that I would want. And then I just place my fully dried icing transfers on top and it looks super, super cute. Here we're also doing a transfer with a cactus design. I'm using a consistency that's actually slightly less thick than toothpaste, dropping some sprinkles onto freshly piped icing, adding the fuchsia flowers on top, and then repeating with two different shapes of cactus. For these guys, I'm using the exact same consistency icing again as I did with the previous cactus. And you can go ahead and drop sprinkles on them if you want, but you don't have to. They look just as cute without the sprinkles. You can also paint them a little bit gold if you want later. The possibilities are endless. And here I'm also going to show you how I use those cactus. I flood it in with a complementary color of icing. I add the transfers on and then I filled in the rest of the blank space with some sprinkles that I got from Sweeta Polita. I'm just going to show you a couple more ways that I use the transfers. I'm using a 20 second icing here. I use a scribe to help it settle more smoothly. I pipe the leaves on with a toothpaste, toothpaste consistency icing with the tipless piping bag cut into a V that I show in my Instagram highlights. And when the bottom layer has crusted over, I add in the accents and at this point I let it dry fully for about 24 hours so that they can pop off from the paper easily. Here for the pineapples, I'm using a brown edible marker and adding in some accents, just switching it up a little bit from the pipelines from before. And here I'm showing you how I finished off the ice cream cones with a little bit of brown edible marker accent to make that waffle cone texture. The cone part of the ice cream was piped with 20 second icing and the scoop, ice cream scoop part was piped with a toothpaste consistency icing. And as you'll see sh shortly, after I've let them dry fully for about 24 hours, I can pop them off really quite easily. Look at how cute they are. And this is the last cookie stick design that I'm going to show you for the sake of this video, but I think you've got the hang of it now. Um, I like to flood in with a base 20 second icing so that it settles smoothly. 
I add in the royal icing transfers that I've made and I fill in the blank space with whatever other designs I want or some sprinkles if I wish. Make sure to check out the blog post that I've linked below. There's a little more information on the materials list and where you can buy things. Thanks for watching.